YouTube! Well, it's that time of year again. It's the time of year when the writers who watch my YouTube channel and follow my social media get really excited, and the rest of you are probably thinking, great, I can't wait until it's December. That's right, we are three weeks away from NaNoWriMo starting, and yes, I'm going to keep pronouncing it that way no matter what you say. So, okay, let's talk about a third camp of people. Maybe you do like writing, but you too are counting the days to December. Maybe you tried NaNoWriMo a previous year and you failed. Maybe you couldn't come up with a good story idea, or maybe school got in the way. Or maybe something else decided to eat up your free time in November and you just couldn't get the words on the page. Maybe you're just afraid of this kind of huge time commitment, or maybe because of past failed attempts, NaNoWriMo is just kind of a sore subject for you. I'll admit it, I have had years that I wanted to quit, or that I realized halfway through the month that my story was total garbage, or that I just really wanted to be doing something else with my time. Writing a novel, or even attempting to, is really hard. I say this coming from a completely unpublished, unprofessional, un-anything sort of standpoint, but I have won NaNoWriMo seven years in a row, and it's hard. But if there's an idea in your head, it deserves to be let out. So instead of clicking away from this video and the other reminders of this upcoming project, let's talk about why you maybe keep these ideas chained up in your brain. One, maybe it is too hard. I love the folks who run this project, but 50,000 is a totally arbitrary number. So is doing it in 30 days. The point of this is the challenge, yes, but writing is still a very personal thing, so no one's gonna judge you or probably even really care if you decide to lower your word count to something that's more manageable for you. Or if you decide to do it over a period of three months rather than one. This project is about getting yourself to write, not about killing yourself, so make sure you're doing something that you feel you can actually do. Two, figure out what went wrong in previous years or why you didn't attempt it in the first place. If it was school or taking care of your kids or a job, obviously you can't just kick those things to the curb while you write a novel all month. But what are you doing with the rest of your time? Do you watch Netflix every night? Do you have a weekly game session scheduled with your friends that could maybe get cut down to twice a month or not at all that month? You should actually sit down and write out a list of activities that get in the way of you writing or that seem like obstacles that would keep you from attempting this project. From there, you can pretty easily tell if there's some reshuffling you can do or if there's things that you can actually just cut out for a month. Three, make sure that you're writing something that you want to be writing. When you're sitting in front of your laptop on December 1st with your winner certificate, you're probably gonna ask yourself, was it worth it? You'll feel awesome that you won, but was it worth it? Write something that you like, even if that means that you're writing something really fluffy or a silly romance or a crazy alien invasion story. Make sure that you're writing something that you'll at least be semi-proud of when you finish, or at least have a great time doing it. Four, stuff is gonna happen. Much like the rest of the year, November isn't just gonna take itself off for emergencies and things that call for your time. You need a backup plan, because maybe your car is gonna break down, maybe a family member is gonna get sick, maybe you're gonna be offered some awesome time-consuming job that you have to take. But make sure that you still have a plan so that you can write. Maybe this means that you take a notebook with you so that you can jot down a few sentences while you're waiting for the bus or, you know, when you have a moment of downtime on a lunch break or something. Maybe you just find a way to set aside a specific 30 minutes every single day so no matter what's going on, you still owe yourself those 30 minutes to write. Whatever works for you, make sure you have a backup plan. And five, writing buddies. I stress this every, every single year, but NaNoWriMo is so much more fun with friends. You might not have writing buddies in real life, but there is no lack of them on the internet. Go on the actual NaNoWriMo forums, introduce yourself in the comments of this video. I've met people who have made lifelong writing buddies actually from the comments in one of my videos, so go down there and meet people. I don't care how you find them, but for goodness sake, get yourself some writing buddies because honestly, it makes all the difference. As usual, I'll be running writing sprints on my Twitter account from time to time throughout the month, so make sure that you're following that if you want to be part of that. It's a really, really good way to feel like you're doing some sort of competitive competition while writing and also getting your word count in for the day. I don't know how I would do NaNoWriMo year after year without word sprints, so make sure you come join them if you think that sounds fun. Also, I have a funding page up for the Night of Writing Dangerously. It's this event that the Office of Letters and Light puts on every year to raise money for their organization. It's sort of like Relay for Life, but 
but for writing. If you personally want to donate money to the organization that makes this possible for us year after year, I definitely recommend that you go do that, and I'll put a link to that below. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments below if you yourself are going to be attempting NaNoWriMo this year, and if so, have you done it in previous years? How many times have you won? Just tell me, just, just tell me stuff about writing. Just leave comments. Also, side note, the length of this YouTube video is 798 words. At an average needed 1,667 words a day to hit the 50,000 goal, I would be pretty much halfway there for the day if this video counted toward word count, which it doesn't. I should probably go start planning my novel for the year. So, bye. Hit 20, words.